What is going on guys? Greedo XP here and today we are going to show you how to upload custom images to NBA 2K21. Now this means you can put them in my team, uh, my league, so obviously for your logo, for the courts and for the jerseys. I forgot um, what it was. So um, to do that, you can do uh, you can use photo editing software and stuff like that, like Adobe Pro. Well, there is an easy way if you have a PC and stuff like that that you don't need like expensive photo editing software to do it. So first of all, you go to Google Images or whatever image place you go to to search for images and you type in whatever you want and trans so say if it's logo say like you want the monster logo or something like that you type in certain thing you want and transparent so that gets rid of your background it works best for like say if you want to put something on a jersey or you want to put something on the court. So I've searched for bricks because everyone seems to be chucking them up this year in NBA 2K21, me included. I'm not very good at it. I've not got sh stick shooting down yet. But the best, so obviously you search and you got to look for PNG files. So basically you just search, you find the image you want, right click, Save image as. Now you've got to make sure it's a PNG. If it's a PNG, it doesn't work very well. Um, and obviously, you type in what you want. So say, break. So, that enough? Just press save. So the next thing you need to do is find a little, little known software called Pixlr. And this is one that I did earlier, Mountain Dew Barsha Blast. So you need Pixlr X. Now this is a free one, you don't have to sign up, you don't have to do anything. So all you do, you press Pixlr X, I'll put the link in the description, and you click open image. Now there was an old older software, but that's going out of date, that's not going to be usable by the end of the year because they're changing think they're oh, getting rid of flash software and stuff like that so all you do to uh, press open image and then you find where you put your image so I've put it in my own folder called NBA 2k click on it click open and hey presto there's your image now the next thing you need to do to see what size you need to change it to is go over to the NBA 2K, nba2k.com. Now it's nba2k.com forward slash upload. Now when you start, obviously when you click on the website, it'll ask you for whatever you play the game on. So say if you play on Xbox, PlayStation, Switch or Steam, they'll ask for your login details so obviously you have to log on because obviously it's upload to the game it's you can still upload images for 2k18 which is weird because the game's offline anyway 2k19 but that game i think goes offline at the end of 2020 and 2k20 so if you're still playing 2k20 for the time being haven't got 2k21 you can still do this it works anyway right so for the logos now there's three different sizes team logo that's basically your logo of your team and it's also the center court logo so say if you want to put a logo on the center of your court arena logo that's your side of your um your court so say where like say 
Staples Centre or another example, Pepsi Centre or Little Caesars Arena or whatever it is and stuff like that. I'm trying to think of arenas off the top of my head or MSG, Madison Square Garden. And this is obviously for that. And the scorer's table is obviously the adverts on the side of the um, court where they have the Beats ones, the New Balance ones, and NBA.com forward slash shop. So obviously there's three different ones to do. Now, if you notice, by the side of that is a size. So there's 1024 by 1024, or 1024 by 1024, 512 by um, 256 for the arena logo, and 512 by 128. Now you've got to resize the images to that, or they'll just, either the file size will be too big, or it'll just look funky and not very good. So this is where the editing software comes into use. So we'll click on Pixlr, and we've got our image here. Now what you need to do is go up to here, and this is called Properties, or press P on your key oh, keyboard. You need uh, So obviously you need to resize your image. So say if I want this in the center of the court, I press that to resize image. Now you've got to click this off constrain properties got to be clean, cleaned off because clicked off because otherwise it will say if you type in there let's do this as an example so say if i press that and i type in not that way 1024 and then put 1024 beneath Obviously, what you put in width has gone to a different number. So, obviously, you need to turn this off. Because otherwise, it just won't work. So, you know. And your image will not look very good. So, obviously, you'll be 1024 by 1024. And you click apply. And obviously, it will change your image to said size sometimes the bigger for the logos the bigger the better for the image so obviously it can downscale it so say if it's a small image and you upscale it it'll look pixelated and won't look very good so obviously the bigger the image the better it is for that for the smaller ones it's not so and again that probably would be a bit better you know but anyway um so once that's done all you have to do is click save or control and s obviously your file name of what you want it to be change it to png and it will come up with that png is better i don't know about jpeg if it works i don't think it does with it and all you have to do is press download and obviously being free software you have to wait because they need to put adverts on. So now we need to go over to our MBA2K.com. So once that's done and you've resized it and all that, you go over to MBA2K.com forward slash upload and links in the description below anyway you can google search it now you have to double click which one you want so either team league logo arena logo or scorers table so you double click and it will come up with wherever it, it usually throws in downloads so we'll click brick and you press open And it should show you the image. If it doesn't work, it won't show you an image. You click upload, and you agree and submit. Because if you put offensive, so 
offensive things on, you will get banned. And hey presto, it will show up in my uploads. Now we are going to cross over to the game. And I will show you how to put them in the game. So, we're in game. I had a little bit of a problem with the image that I used. So, when you upload an image, when it's on the NBA 2K thing, and if it's um, you want to use it on court, make sure it's completely blank in the background. So, say if it's, it's black in the background. Otherwise, you end up with a problem like... this where it looks bad so basically it's trial and error you just have to search for whatever image you want I found however an image that will work so you see there or well you see the uh, one on the left the supreme brick now if it's black in the background it's fine it means it's transparent so obviously all you'll see is the brick and not white in the background. Like I say, it's trial and error. So basically, you come on, you click, come back out of here, you click custom uh, center court logo, you click R2 or right trigger on Xbox, and you go over to my images. So obviously, if it's uploaded, it will show up in the game. So if you want said logo, press X. Press use this image, and hey presto, yeah, image is on the court. So obviously you got your sideline images for the smaller ones. Obviously I don't have any, or you can use them as your secondary ones. So say if I want another brick, I can have a smaller brick there. So obviously there for the, your logos can be used for the inside the baselines and whatnot. And, and arena name logo obviously is for the arena. So obviously I don't have any. And so obviously nothing shows up. For the scores, uh, for the adverts on the side, you click scores table. Obviously, you select whatever score is stable you want, and then you click logo. Go into my images. See, I've done one. And you click that, and it will show up on your score table. So, I hope you like the video. Uh, please drop a like on it, and uh, it will be greatly appreciated. And I hope this has helped you guys out. As I say, it works on mobile devices. It does work on Android. I've tried it on my phone. iOS, it should be the same. Don't download the app because the app isn't very good for it. And it's a bit more. But as I say, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like. And until next time. Peace.